Welcome to Faith Positive Radio with Dr. Joey Fawcett, the Christian business coaching conversation that increases your faith with greater joy at work so you love God and others more. Dr. Joey interviews Christian business professionals just like you to discover their secrets for working faith positive in a negative world. Welcome to Faith Positive Radio with Dr. Joey Fawcett. Hey, Faith Positive Nation, Dr. Joey here with another episode of Faith Positive Radio. And man, I am so excited to introduce you to our guest today because he's, he's one of those guys who is so attuned to the spirit that he could sense uh, in, in his job, he could sense some disconnect between what he was doing and what he was designed to do. And so, you know, we talk about that in, in Faith Positive Nation as your divine design. And so his current uh, job or career wasn't really his calling. There was something more that he wanted to give expression to. And, and I know that so many of you we talk to in Faith Positive Nation, you have that same unrest, that same question. God, is this what you want me to do? God, what else is there for me to do in my life? And how do I get at it? You know, how do I go discover that? So today's episode of Faith Positive Radio is really for you. If uh, and, I, and I think the latest figures I've read were between two thirds and three fourths of all American workers are dissatisfied to very dissatisfied at work. So that may be you, right? And there's a sense of unrest or, or that sense of anticipation that there's got to be something more in fulfillment and satisfaction for my work. And so how do I put that faith in my work? So today's guest is going to help us understand how to take it day by day. And that's the name of his company, Day by Day Solution. And if you want to flip over to daybydaysolution.com while we're chatting here and, and scroll through some pages there, it's absolutely awesome website. If you want to wait until afterwards, like you're walking the dog or you're on a treadmill or something right now, riding down the road, please pay attention to the road and uh, know that on his page on our website at getpositive.today, you got the link there to daybydaysolution.com. So help me welcome Faith Positive Nation to this episode of Faith Positive Radio, Joshua Almost. Joshua, welcome to Faith Positive Radio, man. I am so delighted to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. Oh, it is a pleasure to have you here. Um, hey, so you're, you're doing this job, right? And, and the question in your mind is what? Because you're dissatisfied. You're not fully fulfilled. What's the question right. that's in your heart? That there has to be more to life than this. All right, man. How many times we, more. Yeah, there's got to be something more. How many times do we hear yeah. people say that, right? right. So, so this question emerges, right? There's got to be something more. What then? Because you, you first become, well, I'll tell you what, tell me how you became aware of there's got to be something more. How did it show up in your, in your work or in your home life? Um, well, the simple answer to that is that I, I really believe the grace for what I was doing lifted. Hmm. Um, and that's not always an easy thing to recognize when, it, when that happens. Hmm. But I realized that things that, uh, that I used to do relatively easily started becoming really stressful and started becoming things that I really just dreaded to do. I would wake up in the morning and realize that I didn't want to go to work. <laughs> I, oh, I wow. didn't want to do what I was doing and, and continue the life that I was. And I could see my life, you know, 10 years in the future and realize this isn't what I want to do mm. and this isn't who I want to be or what I want to be known for. Oh, or what I want to be known for. So you, you couldn't take that 10 year look and say, you know, that's the legacy I want to leave doing this exactly. 10 years from now. So what then? Because obviously the Holy Spirit revealed that to you, right, Joshua? Right. And, and so then you're living in that struggle between what could be, what you don't really know what it is, and what is. What did you do next? So what happened next is I was actually, uh, I started dialoguing with one of my friends who's actually on our, uh, on our board at one of our nonprofits now. And uh, he and I were di dialoguing and I realized that, you know what, I've always had a passion to kind of start my own business and to go out and do things. And I didn't realize what I wanted to do and I didn't know what it exactly was that I wanted to do or how to raise the capital for it or any of that stuff. Mm. Um, and so then I, I read in the, in the Bible where it says, the sower sows the word. And I realized, you know what, if I'm going to branch into something new, I have to start with a seed. And that mm. seed is the word. And so I just started in the morning 
praying in my normal daily devotion, started praying about, Lord, give me opportunity to sow your word and to start talking to people. Mm. Just know which direction. Mm -hmm. And I realized that if I was going to be a CEO of my company, if I was going to start something new, if I wanted to completely change my life, Mm -hmm. I needed really clear direction about what was going to happen. Mm. And so I started, started handling my prayer walk differently. I started praying that the Lord would reveal to me what he wanted me to do specifically that day, just that one thing to do. Mm. And that is actually what changed my life because that one thing was very direct. I would wait in prayer until I heard what he wanted me to do or felt what I wanted, what he wanted me to do. And to be honest with you, it was a lot of networking. Talk to this person, talk to that person, that type of thing. Um, In the Bible, it says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I would listen to messages. I would try to hear the word of God. I would, you know, there's a Bible is app that I would play in the morning so I could hear the word. Mm -hmm. And the second part that I didn't, that I didn't realize is that if I don't start acting on that motivation or inspiration that I'm hearing of the word of God, Mm. then I'm actually a faith killer because the Bible also says without faith, Mm -hmm. (laughs) right? It is impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. And it also says that faith without works is dead. And so if I Mm. get faith by hearing, Mm. I don't do anything. It Mm. dies. Mm. So really it's a two-step process. And, and the first one, uh, Psalm 4610 comes to my mind, be still and know that I'm God. And right. I don't know about your favorite sin, Joshua, but mine's playing God, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I think I know more than God. Uh, so you sat still long enough or, or quieted your mind, if you will, in your heart, right. your spirit long enough to get a word from God. That That's that's a tall order for most of us in faith positive nation. How'd you do that? How'd you sit still that long? How'd, well, and, and I'm asking a bunch of questions. Here, how do you <laughs> quiet the noise in your mind? Cause you got all this stuff going through your head and I'm constantly, you know, trying to create new solutions on my own. How do you tamp that down and amp up the Holy spirit's voice? Um, to be honest with you, it's fasting. Um, and not <laughs> just fasting food, but mm-hmm. fasting, anything that comes in. The Bible says that to not take counsel from the ungodly. And so TV, radio, I realized that I didn't know how to sit still before the Lord without some sort of stimulant. I didn't know Mm. how to drive my commute without a podcast or without radio or without something playing where Mm. it was just me and God. And I could actually hear the voice of God wait on the Lord. Mm. And so Mm. I realized that I had a fast and had a, get used to being alone with the Lord without some sort of some sort of external stimulant. And that took a little while to get used to because in the beginning you kind of just <laughs> want something. <laughs> mm-hmm. You want a message, you want to read, you want to you want to do something. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Music, any that kind of stuff. Exactly. So you, you went on a media fast. I did. I went on a media fast. Wow. You know, one of the things we teach uh, Faith Positive Nation is the difference between push and pull media and how we abdicate so often our editorial license. That is what we expose ourselves to through push media, the radio, TV, things like that. And instead, encourage them to use pull media. So I get to choose what I listen to. The next level, it's like push pull media, the great media switch is what we call it. Uh, The next level on steroids is be still. That is a media fast. I absolutely love that. I, I started that some years ago, particularly on road trips. Mm-hmm. And um, man, it is hard. But after a while, Joshua, did you, how did you find silence? Did it become a friend? Oh, very much so. There was peace. And in fact, now um, I'm very purposeful with everything I listen to mm-hmm. and everything that comes in. Um, because to be honest with you, the quiet time with God is, is something I, I cherish now. Mm. So if I'm going to break that, it, it should be purposeful and for a reason. Mm. So what would you say to somebody in Faith Positive Nation, Joshua, who says, I don't have time? <laughs> well, time is relative because we all, we all have the same amount of time. Okay. And if you take 20 minutes a day to do something, mm-hmm. you'd be surprised how easy those 20 minutes build up. Mm. And so no matter what, You know, one of the things that I've taught some clients is you can change your life with 20 minutes a day. 
mm. if they're purposeful. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways we can invest those 20 minutes to make them purposeful? Well, it depends on what, what you want to do. But if, if it's uh -huh. in this case, if you decide to, you know, be silent and still, and 20 minutes will feel like a long time <laughs> in the beginning. When you first do it, yeah. It's like, yeah. has it been 20 minutes? Oh, it's been two minutes. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, but if you, if you dedicate 20 minutes a day to do whatever it is you want to accomplish, if it's health, 20 minutes working out, you don't need an hour in the gym, you just need 20 minutes. Eating mm -hmm. right, cleaning your house, organizing, reading your Bible, whatever it is, 20 mm -hmm. minutes a day of purposefully doing something will mm -hmm. change the way and move you towards your goal. Wow. How do I restrict my time to 20 minutes? Because if I'm going to the fitness center, there are all my, my guys I want to hang out with and we want to talk and we might work 20 minutes, work out 20 minutes, but it takes me two hours to do it. Right. Right. Well, see, the, the difference is yes, going to the gym is great. And, but like you said, you have the commute, you have all of this stuff, mm -hmm. but why not just do 20 minutes of a routine? Like, air squats, push-ups, and then go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Because then it doesn't matter. There's no excuse. If you leave yourself an opening to, for an excuse or a temptation, mm -hmm. you'll have it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to eat junk food anymore, but mm -hmm. you keep it in your house, you're going to eat it. <laughs> but oh, if it's man, not that's, there... That's deadly, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you give up for Lent? Ice cream? <laughs> Is it in your freezer? <laughs> and you did not give it up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it, it's that way. If you say, hey, I have to go somewhere to do this, mm. then you'll never do it. Oh, wow. If you say, hey, in my office, I can do it. At my home, I can do it. In the morning, if it's mm. just a matter of me being able to pull this resource anywhere, Mm. That's why I like the Bible, reading the Bible, having silence, you know, the way you eat, whatever, and whatever it is, it's easy, especially with technology. We have our phone. If you're a writer trying to write a book and you're just, you want to write 20 mm. minutes a day, or you want to speak into your phone for 20 minutes a day, whatever it is, there's no excuse because you have it and it can be done anywhere. Mm. So what we're really doing, Joshua, is what I hear you saying, we're leveraging the convenience that technology gives us. And, and using it for stated purposes to accomplish goals rather than letting the media rule us. Right. Wow. And that's something you do day by day to provide a solution. So exactly. that, that was one of the first things that you did was the, the, uh, when you sense this unrest in your spirit, that there had to be something more that lack of fulfillment, you immediately began to spend time listening and the second piece that you said, you know, what good does it do to listen if you're not going to act on it, right, Joshua? Right. So how did you move yourself to action? Because it's, it's one thing to listen, but it's another to get up and go do it. To be honest with you was the fact, just the simple realization that it wasn't God that was holding me back. It was me. Oh, if, oh, if I was going to do something, if, that's a if I wanted to look reality, back, <laughs> yeah, if I wanted to look back in 10 years, I had no one to blame but myself because mm. God was talking to me and he was giving me instruction. And if, if I didn't have the life I wanted and the life I was created to live, then that was the other part of it is I realized that we're all born for a reason mm. and there's a life that we are created to live. And if we don't accomplish that and we don't take the benefits that the Lord gives us because there are for the taking peace, joy. If we, if I don't have peace, if I don't have joy, it's not because the Lord didn't give it to me. It's because I didn't take it. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. So what you're talking about is taking personal responsibility for acting on what we heard. Exactly. Yeah. Carl L. Marnie uh, from another generation was one of my favorite theologians. And I remember reading one time where he said something like, and I'm paraphrasing here, uh, that some people complain about not getting a word from the Lord. If they would just act on the last word they got from the Lord. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and maybe they'd get a fresh word, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, wow, taking personal responsibility. I read something recently, and I, I'm not sure about the theology of this. But what if you, you got to heaven and you got a glimpse of the person that you could have been? Right. 
Wow. And so that's what I hear you talking about, Joshua, yeah. to, to act on the word that we're given is to realize that we are the one who limits the Holy Spirit's work through us. Exactly. We take personal responsibility for our actions. Hey, faith, positive nation, there's a reality for you, right? I mean, it may sound harsh at first, but you know, you got to, God, God gave you a brain, and two feet, two, two feet, two hands, right? Go do your stuff. Oh, so, yeah. What, what kind of challenges do you find in business people that you're coaching and working with, or maybe your own journey, Joshua, uh, what are some of the impediments, the barriers to listening and acting? So some of the things um, is that we're not from this world. So there's a lot of things that this world deems successful that mm. just don't line up. And every time I tried to act as the world acted or kind of fit into their mold of what a successful business person was, mm. it brought hardship. Mm. Um, for Take example, up in a, yeah, give us an yeah, example. For example, um, I do a lot in the marketing industry. I, I do a lot of marketing because I help a lot of startups and, uh, and small business consulting is what I do. Okay. And so marketing is, you know, is a, is a big, uh, is a big avenue where there's already kind of, set parameters of what works and what doesn't. Okay. And a lot of it is manipulative. A lot of it is false advertising. You know, we show people with shiny cars and a lot of money and we'll make you rich and these great get rich quick schemes and a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and as a Christian, I can't be a part of that. Mm -hmm. I, I can't falsely advertise. I can't, you know, boast about something that you don't have experience in or isn't real or something you really couldn't mm -hmm. provide to your clients. Mm. just to turn a dollar. Mm. Um, so chasing after the finances is something that just morally I can't do. Mm. And so, so ethical integrity is really important to you. So you, you don't right. want to over promise on the product. You want to make sure the promise fits the product. Exactly. And I have, and I really believe in relationships. So mm. customer intention is big for me. So working with clients who just want someone to buy and then don't care about them afterwards. Um, mm -hmm. So they don't care if they are lying to them or manipulating them. I, I can't work with people like that. Mm -hmm. So because of that, um, I have to be very selective in my screening process. And there are a lot of, um, a lot of tactics that I won't implement no matter what, you know, what society says is working <laughs> or how great it works. Mm -hmm. so that has definitely been, but on the other hand, even though in the beginning to get my foot in the door, mm -hmm. it was very hard mm -hmm. um, and actually kind of yeah, stopped and closed a lot of doors for me. Mm -hmm. It actually on the same token, because people knew that about me, opened up a lot more doors mm -hmm. because they knew I couldn't back something that I didn't believe in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the credibility that these clients were coming from Joshua almost, Right. Carried right. a certain distinction in and of itself because of the ethical integrity. And so just do the right thing. Right. And right. understand it costs too much to do business with some people. Yeah. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you'd be surprised because you, you do have to have some thick skin in any type of. Uh, what? Business. What are you talking about? <laughs> we in Faith Positive Nation know nothing about that, Joshua. What do you even know? Uh, my, my brilliant, beautiful coaching partner, Jane Cresswell, talks about working for a, a major technology firm, getting called into the boss's office, being congratulated on a promotion, and then being told in the next breath, cut the Jesus talk. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. You get so, a lot of that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you really do. So, Joshua, you're saying when you stand up for the right thing, people are going to criticize you. Who ever heard of that? Right. <laughs> Blessed and are you, Jesus said, when when uh, people revile you and persecute you, right? Yes. But, but you're doing the right thing. So how does that help you stand out in the marketing world, then, Joshua? So a big part of it is because I'm I do believe in relationship because I believe that's the way that Jesus models business mm -hmm. and models everything for us because mm -hmm. I believe in that. Um, even if, even if I'm not the right fit or my product doesn't work for you, mm -hmm. I'll help you find someone or connect you with someone who can help because it's more about providing the service and making sure 
what you want to accomplish is accomplished than it is just about turning a dollar. And so what happened is success was defined differently. You know, it used to be, oh, if I could, you know, have, you know, bring in, you know, 200,000 a month and live off, you know, live off of that and be great, where it became now my, my peace of mind was more important and I could sleep at night and I had peace and I had joy and I loved working with the people who were passionate and mm -hmm. wanted to help people and serve. Mm -hmm. And so success, success is different for everybody because everybody has a different call. Right. Wow. Yeah. And so you worked towards your own definition of success, exactly. which was about a lifestyle of the fruits of the spirit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and the legacy I wanted to be known for, right? I didn't want to be known uh -huh. for someone who was rich. I wanted to be known for someone who helps people. Mm, who helps other people. So when you go see Joshua, he can help you. And in a way that has ethical integrity. You remind me of, um, I think the movie was Miracle on 34th Street that I'm thinking about right now, where uh, Santa Claus and Macy's sent uh, the shopper to Gimbal's, right? Oh, yeah. To, <laughs> right. Where they were out of a product. That's what you're reminding me of. So this whole uh, notion of first to be last and last to be first and, and to serve the way that Jesus served as a servant leader, right, becomes right. the way that you do business. Yes, and I really believe that's the way we were meant to be do business. Mm. It's service based. Mm -hmm. So we put the customer's success ahead of the world's definition of our success. Right. And therein lies our success. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Man, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, I suspect. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of a lot of great people in Faith Positive Nation. Um, I suspect that in the field of marketing, though. This is a bit revolutionary, and I'm trying not to cast aspersions here on my many friends who are in marketing, because <laughs> I've interviewed some amazing people in marketing who've said much what you said, but I, I suspect this is a little different, right? It is. It is. A, a, lot of the, a lot of the marketing techniques right now, the popular ones, right. um, they're, not, they're very not ethical. <laughs> Ah, okay. Bait and switch or exactly. thing under delivering. Right. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. The biggest keys when you go into marketing and you go into some of these seminars, I mean, right off the bat, they'll tell you, you know, the thing that sells is sex and money. And it's like, well, that's great, but that's not what we point at. So, ah, uh, you mean there need to be benefits beyond that? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's amazing. So when you're helping someone craft a story around a product, you, you really dig into the product or the service that they're, they're offering. Yeah, I actually, um, I try to get to know the, the owner or the person who's doing this. I, mm -hmm. I like to know them personally and get to know what their heart is because a lot of times people will be, you know, trying to market a service mm. and um, they don't realize that even though that's the product that they're, that they're selling, that's mm. not the service they're offering. Mm. You know, it's like people who sell, um, I worked with a client not too long ago who, who um, did a lot of stuff on Eventbrite selling different tickets and different things to mm. different um, places. And, uh, and they were doing a big campaign for a local baseball game. And he said, oh, well, we're in the market of, you know, selling tickets. And I said, no, you're, you're in the market of selling an experience. You know, when you, mm -hmm. when you go to a baseball game, when you went as a kid, you don't re really remember the game. You remember the time you spent with your father or your family or your friends. That was the thing. And so it's really about bringing people together, not just trying to sell them something. And, mm. and his heart was that way because he got into that because of that, because hmm. that was him and his dads, that's what they did. They would go to the movies, they would go to baseball games, and that was their like bonding time. Oh, and wow. so he just felt really close to that. Mm. So that was his heart's passion and what drove his business. So you really exactly. dig in beyond the product or service, but what's the why, as Simon Sinek would say, exactly. right? What's the why? <laughs> for uh for that person in doing that business that's amazing so again that's a uh, uh, really cutting the ice in a different direction because there you are getting into a relationship with right. your clients as opposed to a one-size-fits-all cookie cutter kind of thing exactly exactly mm -hmm. and i you know we did day-by-day -day solutions so we really i believe that one of the gifts that the lord's given me is problem solving so mm -hmm. i really want to help you kind of <laughs> tackle this 
problem that you're facing and realize what is the real day by day solution, putting them in practical everyday steps to mm. accomplish what you want to accomplish. But what is success and what you want to accomplish isn't the same thing I want to accomplish. So mm. that really does mean we have to build a relationship. I have to get to know you. Mm. Mm. And I think that's, that's why marketing right now, um, because they're not in the, in the business of relationship, they're in the business of turning a profit. They don't need to get to know you. They'll just put a price tag and put a slogan and we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Throw you up a new logo and, and, and call it marketing. Exactly. Well, well, I've got a strong sense, Joshua, almost that, that Jesus Christ uh, is your model Very for much. how you run your marketing company, but not, not just, he's your CEO or something, but I mean the methodology that you put into place. Yes. I really believe that we don't imitate man. We imitate Christ. Ooh, say that again. We don't imitate man. We imitate Christ. Mm, faith positive nation. There's something huge. We want to make a bumper sticker out of that, right? <laughs> imitate Christ instead of man. Wow. That's huge. And, and that's a real game changer for you when you were still enough to hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you, giving you specific directions for that day. And then you got up and acted on it. Exactly. And I really believe that uh, anyone can start, anyone can start their new life. Anyone can do anything because, you know, if you're, if your word is the seed, you already know something. And there's a reason why these knowledge based courses and knowledge based online companies have done so well. And that's really where I started was giving away a lot of the stuff that I knew for free because I really just wanted to help people mm. and that in turn launched my business for me. Mm. Mm. And there's something that you love that, you know, and sometimes we take for granted that other people need mm. and you could just start, you can change someone's life today. And trust me, that's going to be way more fulfilling than the paycheck you get on Friday. Mm. Wow. That's a beautiful thing. So faith positive nation, if you find yourself uh, among that majority who are dissatisfied or just not feeling God's purpose in your divine designs being expressed in your work, Joshua's story, go back and listen to it again, because the, the unrest drove him to listen, did a media fast, right? So he mm -hmm. changed the way, the great media switch, we call it. And then he acted. He trusted God enough at his word to get up and go do what it was that God was asking him to do. Much of it, to people to talk to and, and folks to go see and what have you. And, uh, and, and Jesus set his methodology in place for him. Joshua almost, that's a, that's a beautiful story. The website is daybydaysolution.com. That's solution singular. Daybydaysolution.com, all one word. Uh, Joshua, how can Faith Positive Nation get in touch with you? Because I'm, I'm absolutely positively convinced that there <laughs> are people in Faith Positive Nation who are going to want to talk to you about how you run your business Jesus way. So how can they get in touch with you? You got an email address? Yes, sir. That is hello at daybydaysolution.com. And you can also send me a direct message on Instagram. I'm very active on there. Okay. And uh, that is daybydaysol, daybydaysol. All right. Oh, I got it. Day by day. So I got it. S O L. <laughs> cool. Uh, Faith Positive Nation always wants to know from our guest, Joshua, about a favorite Bible verse or Bible passage that really is a heart verse, whether it's for this season or whether it's one that's been with you for a decade. So have you got one you want to share? Yes, sir. My favorite verse is uh, Hebrews eleven six, And that is, and without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Mm, wow. Now, why is that your favorite, Hebrews eleven six? Because I think it encompasses our Christian walk. Because mm. without we have to have faith in him, mm. but we also have to believe that he is who he says he is. Mm -hmm. And that when you chase after God, he rewards you. He's a good God. Mm. So I believe that, uh, that that encompasses our faith. As Christians. Mm. Boy, there's another bumper sticker. When you chase God, he rewards you. Yes, sir. It's <laughs> full of great one-liners here. I love it, Joshua. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> All right, that one down. When, when you chase God, right. Man, and the cool thing that I find, Joshua, and I'm sure you do too in your work, is that um, God is always pursuing me. Amen. And, and he's... God is just so much in love with us and wants the best in life for us. And so I hear you describing how we can go get it day by day. There's yes, a, sir. 
Daybydaysolution.com is the website. Joshua Olmos uh, is available to you at hello at daybydaysolution.com. Hey, man, I really appreciate this time. I've learned a lot. I, I absolutely love your perspective on marketing. It thrills me to hear you talking about marketing in this way. And I know you and I connected on LinkedIn originally. And yes. So thank, thanks for being one of my connections. Uh, thanks for being a part of the Faith Positive group there. And uh, we just are so blessed by having you on Faith Positive Radio today. I know so many people are going to benefit from this podcast. Share it with others. And so I just want to pray God's blessings on you, Joshua, your incredible wife, those three amazing sons that you've got, my three sons, right? Yes. Uh, that you got, <laughs> STE shows older than you, so I shouldn't even have mentioned that, right? <laughs> those three incredible sons of yours. And just pray that God keeps delivering your heart's desire to you and your wife and those three boys. Thanks so much, Joshua. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening to Faith Positive Radio, the Christian business coaching conversation that increases your faith with greater joy at work so you love God and others more. Suggest guests and ask questions when you email Dr. Joey at info at getpositive.today. And be sure to get your free gift of the five positive business conversations to have today. Coaching program at getpositive.today. Until next time, may God bless you with everything your heart can hope for and more than your mind can imagine.